Nabi Sam was a little bit more hands on, but about a lot about a lot of edge things. And there were times where we had disagreements and stuff, but it was always, you know, just something we would work through. So Nabi Sam was a lot more about the nuts and bolts. Like we need more of these pickups here. We need to balance it there. Uh, and there, there was one kind of internally, I find it found it a, uh, a case that I got frustrated with that, uh, we made right later. So in, Met, in echoes, the second one, uh, there are two spider ball guardians or sp there's two spider boss guardians, right? There's the spider ball and the boost ball guardians. Mm -hmm. And they're notoriously difficult to beat, right? In the yeah. original versions, right? Murderously bad, <laughs> throw your controller on the ground and, you know, give Mike Wicken the finger wherever you are, because, you know, <laughs> obviously it's, and that was a tuning change that was made in the last, uh, like three days. Um, and Tanabi-san just really fought for, it. he's like, we need to make this tighter. We need to make this tighter. And we're like, no, it's already too tight. And we made it tighter and it turned out to be way too tight, right? <laughs> and uh, so back when we uh, we did Trilogy, which was a, another interesting project, we had four of us uh, doing the entire Trilogy recompile. So four of us took it aside and tore apart all three games and put them all together for Trilogy and changed the control scheme. Right, yeah. Right? So uh, we had an opportunity with Trilogy to go fix those things. Right, because they've been bugging me ever since. Dang it! Yeah, and uh, and so I went in and fixed, and I went back and I changed the guardians back and let Tanabe san know I'm fixing it back to the way it was. <laughs> and he's like, "Okay, Wicken san, you are right. That's perfectly okay." <laughs> I worked on him on some of the like the incinerator drone. We t we tuned together. I remember having the conversation with him because the incinerator drone, it, its sequence is not predictable. Like when it does a fire blast it's a, i think a random between five and eight seconds and right. i remember having a conversation with him about you know he said it's random is that a good thing and i remember having a conversation that i wanted to encourage the players to be reactive and uh, uh and that if it was a, a fixed sequence then replays would not be as interesting mm. and so he you know so i convinced him of that actually yeah he was, he was great to work with brilliant brilliant designer yeah, when you got the light suit in Prime 2, then suddenly you could go underwater in the dark areas, right? Tanabe-san really wanted it to be that when that happened, that you actually like cut through the water. Like basically like as you were standing on it or something, it would actually like goo up around you and like it would sort of, you know, and it was a cool idea for an effect but it was just completely infeasible. And I was just like, this only happens at the end of the game and doing this effect would affect frame rate. And I sort of walked him through the technical issues of doing that and got it killed. But it was one of the few times where like Tanabe-san came to my office. Like normally, normally I never dealt with, uh, with um, the Japanese designers all that much other than surface level meetings and stuff like that. But this was one where he sort of came in like, I really want this. I'm told you're the one saying no, and you're going to tell me exactly why this is a no and not in a mean way or anything. He just, but then after we really talked through it and after I walked him through the technical reasons, he actually had a good understanding and we, we had that, that piece killed. We also had uh, the assistance of Mr. Tanabe, who, if he could only do one thing, boss design would be it. Uh, he he is just at a absolutely um, super genius level of of design capability for what a, the pacing and the challenge and the flow of a boss encounter looks like. All of the boss encounters in the in not just the the Prime series but also the DK series as well really benefited from his involvement. Is it something specifically that he he says or he does that? It's. I, it, it's one of these kind of a beautiful mind type of things where mm. he's, you know, we're looking or I'm, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I, I'm a mediocre designer on a good day. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm looking at, at an encounter on a screen and you can tell that he's seeing the matrix behind that. He's seeing the, the specific timings and the opportunities and how to interject the tempos up and down. Um, and his, yeah, his, his feedback was, was, it was, a true honor learning from how he developed the, the boss. And, and sometimes it, I mean, was literally just the making the, a, a timing, you know, 0.2 seconds in a particular, how a particular attack happened or a tell uh, for an attack, a telegraph um, uh, would be displayed. Those, those tiny little uh, de details that he had a talent for uncovering were uh, really something to see as he went through his process. He was, he was, uh, uh, you know, super nice guy. Uh, 
You know, I mean, but, you know, Nintendo has very strict standards when it comes to design. So I remember specifically, this wasn't a direct interaction that I had with him, but he had come in <coughs> and uh, there was a, I'm trying to remember what level it was in particular. It might've been Windmill Hills, but the level was either too long or not long enough, one or the other. And so I had finished the level and they had just come and said, no, like it needs to be expanded. And so I had to just go in and like tear the level up and now like, you know, reintroduce new art, stitch together where the old art originally ended and like, you know, but then so like normally you make those decisions before art happens because it's it's a lot of rework to do that. But mm. if the game wasn't working, if the design wasn't working, then art be damned. You have to you have to go back in and, and kill your baby, so to speak, as the term goes, and 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 kind of redo some part of it. And that was kind of the mandate from NCL. I didn't work directly with him in that regard, but you know, I remember when that came in, I was like, "Oh my god, you're kidding me! I gotta, I gotta redo all this," you know. And it's like, "All right, you know, pull up my sleeves, let's let's get to work," kind of thing. So, 